Good day, my name is Tope Sosanya, and today I will show you how to create an airplane and then upload it to Sketchfab using Gravity Sketch. So we'll just go into Sketch first. For the first thing is we'll use the Revolve tool to create the cabin of the airplane. Notice I don't have any grid on. You can turn the grid on and off there. And then we'll use the surface symmetry tool to create the wings. Some funky looking wings. And we'll also use that same tool to create the tail section. Kind of an interesting looking airplane. Come up this way and we'll use the surface tool without the symmetry to make the tail section. And then we have our airplane. So to upload it to Sketchfab, we'll just swipe over, click on Sketchfab. And if you don't have an account, you'll need to sign up. And to do that, you just hit sign up. It gives you this message while it's connecting. You'll authorize Gravity Sketch to display your models. And if you already have, if you're already logged in like I am, this is what it will look like. But if you want to create a new account, you can go ahead and click on that, change your user. Say you have two different accounts or you have uh, somebody else using the same iPad. You'll just sign up clicking this button here. Create a username, email, password. As soon as you have that information, then you can go ahead and start the upload process. So given that I have my information already, I'm going to put it in here. That clipboard, hit login. You'll authorize Gravity Sketch to display your models. And then you can put your name of it here. You can give it a description. Tutorial plane. And then hit this up arrow. And you can go ahead and check it out. So it has it tagged here, uploaded with Gravity Sketch, published zero minutes ago. This is my account, 0101 Design. And it does take a little bit to load depending on your internet. But now you, there you have it little piece of 3D content online. From here you can share it on Facebook, you can email it, put it on Pinterest, put it on Tumblr, tweet it, even embed it into your own website. I hope that helps and thanks for watching.